Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, back again for some more NHL 15 Hockey Ultimate Team Pack Openings. We got 11 gold rare packs to open up for you guys today. So, let's dive right into these packs. If you guys may have not, or may, you either may have, or you may not have noticed, I'm trying to get out as many videos as probably possible to up, up on the channel right now, because... It's end. It's it's getting to the near end of July right now, and I'm trying to get, hopefully, get as much done and everything done that I want to get done before um, August actually starts up. So that way, once August starts, we can start planning for stuff that we want to do with NHL 16. Because once August comes around, that's when you guys are just gonna be. You'll see very little of NHL 15. Might. Be just the occasional pack opening right there but once August starts I think we'll just be finishing up our GM mode um, I think the be a pro will probably be done by then uh, oh wow <laughs> oh man holy shit <laughs> funny thing is I was just contemplating too about getting uh, a Wayne Gretzky but oh my god <laughs> the great one <laughs> Holy shit, Wade Gretzky. Holy smokes. Wow. Holy shit. That's probably my best pull out of a gold rare pack this year. Wow. Wayne Gretzky. Oh my goodness. That's a 96 pull. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, I don't know how I'm going to top that for the rest of... What What the hell was I talking about? Again? <laughs> um. Yeah, like I said, I wanted to wrap up everything with NHL 16, um, NHL 15. See, now, and damn it, Gretzky, you got me off topic of what I was talking about here. I want to finish up everything that I want to do with NHL 15 before in the middle of August. Like I said, I think once August hits here, we're just going to be finishing up our GM mode with the Canucks. Because I still do want to have it at least 10 years for the Canucks, and we're just starting... Uh, I just start in year seven by the time I'm recording this. So, uh, by the time you guys see it, it's probably going to maybe be halfway through year seven or at the end of year seven, starting up year eight, whenever this decides to come out. But that'll probably be the only footage going. We probably will still have pack openings because I'll probably still be getting a couple of them sent to us every now and then. Uh, for goof, yeah, I'll need him. That's why we'll, um, uh, another Patty Sharp. There we go. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the only series that I'll be running. And then basically we're just going to be doing news updates as per usual. And then I will be probably just making videos on you for you guys about helping me decide what uh, series is we want to concentrate on for 16. Because like I said, I am going to be doing a um, I am going to be doing a GM mode. Obviously, obviously I already have the team picked out for that. So. You guys do not have to sweat about that. I already have the team picked out. The two be a pros that I do want to do, I'm going to be doing a skater and a goaltender this year. I kind of want to pick one or the other to do what I did this year, kind of with Rick DiPietro. Hey, there's a team of the week, Jake Allen. All right, not bad. Uh, and Ryan Jones, too. But, um, yeah, I kind of want to pick one or the other to uh, focus on, like we did with Rick DiPietro this year. Maybe, like, do a created skater and then do somebody like a, a former kind of NHL player like we did this year so I think that'd be cool EASHL I'm building up my EASHL team right now if you guys remember those videos I did a long time ago with the UOHL when I was a part of that uh, I guess I guess it was a competitive league I'm starting to bring back former members of my UOHL uh, the Bruins team that I was a part of and I'm starting to recruit some of the guys back I think I got three of them so I only need I think maybe two defensemen and a uh, maybe one defenseman and a winger and I think my team is actually set to go which should be pretty awesome to see but um yeah yeah SHL will be there and then obviously hockey ultimate team are gonna try to make a series on that this year and then everything else you know it's just gonna, it's just gonna be awesome times in NHL 16 I think I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it and I'm gonna enjoy it as well but uh yeah let's just finish up with these last two packs here see what we're gonna get I mean I don't think anything's gonna top the 96 overall legend Wayne Gretzky pull man I was I, you know I was thinking to myself too I'm like man I, I really am I really do want to get a Gretzky for this team since I'm gonna have to I still only give away that John Tavares yet because that the review didn't go up yet it's gonna be going up on Famox's channel first uh aka game on your face that'll be going up there first and then uh It'll go up on my channel, but whenever that does decide to come out, that'll be released. If it is out by now, yeah, so be it. But yeah, uh, there we go. 
pretty good pulls right there. Not gonna freaking lie. Um, I mean, there's nothing. Nothing's gonna top that. Uh, Team of the Week, Jake Allen. That's all nice and dandy, but a 96 overall legend, Wayne Gretzky. Holy smokes, man! I pulled what three, three or four Pavel Burries this year, and uh, you know, I pulled one Eric Lindros and a Wayne Gretzky and a Yari Curry as well too. So I've pulled almost every legend in this game. I'm like Madonna. I pulled almost every legend in this game. I think besides. Nicholas Stroom and Patrick Wapp. So, hey, man, I'll take it. Wayne Gretzky, I'm probably going to put him on my team, man. Either that or I'm going to sell that one and upgrade to a better version of him. But whatever the case, that was a good pack opening. Got a team of the year and a legend. So I'll take it. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, comment, subscribe as always. And I'll see you guys next time.